In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each of these atoms here in the perchlorate ion, ClO4 minus. Let's use these rules here to help us do that. So the red here, those are the oxygens, and the green, that's the chlorine. So I look down the rules here and I see that oxygen is almost always minus two, with a few exceptions. So we can put a minus two as our oxidation number for each of these oxygens here. We also know that if we have an ion, the oxidation numbers, they'll add up to the charge on the ion. The charge is a minus, a minus one. So the question becomes, if I have two, four, six, eight, so minus eight plus some number will equal the charge on the ClO4 minus ion, and that's gonna be that minus one. So minus eight plus positive seven, that would give me one. That means the oxidation number on this chlorine here has to be plus seven in order for these all to add up to give me minus one. So to recap, we found the oxidation number for the elements we knew. In this case, we could find the oxygen here. And then we used that information plus the charge on the ion to find the oxidation number for the one we didn't know, the chlorine. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for ClO4 minus the perchlorate ion. Thanks for watching.